And where did you find the courage to uh, step out and do all of this? My dad. <laughs> really? Tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah. My, my dad. Um, I've been thinking about that a, a lot lately. And I remember one time kind of sums up this. So I was about five, five or six and I had a new bike. I had new roller skates and we love going to the park as a family. And so um, my mom and dad, you know, put me in the car. We went to the park and I put my roller skates on so I could learn how to ride the bike. And so my mom's just like, she can't do that. My dad was like, let her try. And so, you know, it was tough. You could just ima imagine this, you know, it, it was tough, but I got, you know, some kind of hang to it. But as I was riding around the park, you know, just this circle or whatnot, so I wouldn't hurt anybody. But um, <laughs> as I was riding around, I noticed that there were these um, columns and each column or pillar was a little bit higher than the next. And so got fell off my bike. <laughs> took my roller skates off um, and I stood by the lowest one. So my dad's walking up with my shoes and um, he was like, you wanna jump? And I didn't, I don't recall ever answering him. I just, you know, kind of smiled. He was like, go ahead. My mom is standing back by the car and she's pro, don't let her do that. She's gonna hurt herself, steadily protesting. And so I jumped off the first one, jumped off the second one, and I keep going. Well, it eventually got to one where two pillars where you had to climb up a little bit in order to stand on top. And so I got to the one that was going to be the tallest. Um, and, you know, I stood there and my dad was like, go ahead, I'll catch you. And so I climbed up on the taller one. I looked around and this was, you know, little girl in St. Louis city. I noticed that I could see the arch off to the distance. I could see the smokestack in the central area of the city. And it was like the greatest thing in the world. And my mom at this moment, she's just, you know, <laughs> she stopped protesting, but I, lady about to pass out. And so um, I jumped and I didn't need him to catch me. I landed fine, but he was there in case I did. Nice. And so from my mom, I learned, you know, at an early age to calculate the risks. I learned what the dangers were, but from my dad, he's the one that literally gave flight to my dreams. And he never once told me that something was too much for me, um, that it was too high. Um, he was like, do it anyway. And if I needed a safety net, he was there. And so I want to tell other women the same thing that he told me. I want to tell them to jump. I want to tell them that they must jump. And by establishing a foundation, a solid foundation of their businesses, they'll have a safety net to to catch them and maybe someone else. Awesome.